Hello again, everyone. This is Chris here, and it's Robert Harding. This is the Citizen Sports Weekly for Thursday, January 14th, 2015. 16. Oh, okay. shit. And I, I was just going to say, no mistakes in this video, unlike last week's where I made a ton of mistakes. But I guess nobody watched that video, so maybe it didn't actually happen. I don't know. Well, actually, it did happen, because looking back at our picks, uh, Robert was 3-1. And I was 4-0. Oh. Not bad. And to be honest with you, two of those games realistically could have went the other way when yeah. you think about it. I mean, the Vikings, if they make a kick. The Bengals, they don't make, you know, do something stupid. Then most likely uh, I'm 2-2. Two two. But I'm 4-0. Oh. Yeah. Overall, 64-42. and 42, <whistles> And you are 59-47. and 47. So wow. there's a five-game difference. And we have seven games left. Yes. Wow. Interesting. Strange things have happened. And they do happen. Hey, we hey we know that from watching the playoffs so far. So let's get right into our first game. Uh, the early game on Saturday afternoon, or, or late Saturday afternoon, is Kansas City at New England. This is an intriguing game for a few reasons. Number one, uh, Kansas City's won 11 in a row. And <laughs> they smoked the Texans last week. They are playing as good as football as anybody. And remember, they went to New England last September of 2014 and smoked the Patriots 41-14. That was the game where Bill Belichick said, we're on to Cincinnati. And that started the whole we're on to thing. And, uh, and you that's say, when Brady was done. Remember yeah, that? yeah, yeah, I know. Brady was done. Yep. Yep. Start Jimmy Garoppolo. So, that, you know, it's kind of interesting that the way these teams have gone uh, since that game back in September of 2014. So, uh, you know, I wanted to pick the Chiefs. The Chiefs could win this game. I'm going with the Patriots. I mean, they didn't look great in their last regular season game against the Dolphins, of which I saw. But I want to think that's more Bill Belichick did not want to get his starters hurt, that he was kind of, you know, kind of almost like giving the game to the Dolphins. The, worry, the worries I have for New England is their offensive line. They're not really... They're having injuries. They're starting rookies. and But Tom Brady, with his quick passing game, I think can kind of offset that. Uh, Gronkowski's healthy. The wide receivers, I think, are healthy. Edelman. Um, I think that's going to be the difference, the short New England passing game. And I like a close game. If I was going to bet with the points here, if there's actually going to, like, you know, say, hey, we're going to take the spread, uh, I guess New England's favored by four and a half. That's the opening line. I'd pick Kansas City to cover the spread. I think this is going to be a close game. could be a field goal game. But I'm going with the Patriots. Yeah, I'm taking the Patriots, too. Uh, I, I think they'll, uh, even though they did well after that game, mm -hmm. that, that loss uh, last year, I, I think they'll want to redeem themselves yeah. against the Chiefs. And so I, I expect them to come out and, and really be clicking on all cylinders and, and get the win. Yeah. Well, one more thing. Patriots are 17-4 and four at home in the postseason. Yeah. Tough, and I guarantee tough to beat those, them in Foxborough. Those four losses, probably, maybe only one of them or two of them are in Bill Belichick's era. So, Next game, the Saturday night game. This is a great game for Robert and I because we have friends that are Packers and Cardinals fans. That's right. Cardinals fans. So uh, we're actually going to be getting together, hopefully, to watch this game. That's right. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. And um, this is another interesting game because the Packers played the Reds. Uh, I'm sorry, the Packers played at Arizona uh, just a couple weeks ago and got absolutely waxed. And Green Bay, everybody thought Green Bay was going to lose last week to the Redskins, but um, I, I think that was the one game we differed on. Yes. Uh, Green Bay's offensive line played a lot better, and that was really the key. Aaron Rodgers had time to throw. They were able to run the football. But I hate to say this for the Packers fans, I think their one ends this week. I mean, Arizona's on a mission. This team, they know last year that they could have been in the Super Bowl and it wasn't for Carson Palmer getting hurt. And uh, the Cardinals are just, I think, overall the best, if not the best team in football, in the top two. So I'm definitely going with the Cardinals. I just think that home field and their defense is going to be the big thing. But I, I like the Cardinals to beat the Packers. Yeah, I'm taking the Cardinals too. Uh, you know, the, coming off that uh, week off there, uh, this team, I think, uh, they'll be tough to uh, uh, tough to beat in the playoffs. I, I really think they're the best team in the NFC, uh, Carolina Panthers notwithstanding. Uh, I just see, you know, the Cardinals doing great things this year, and I think they'll take care of business against the Packers. Okay, next game, Seattle at Carolina. Seattle obviously was very, very, very fortunate that Blair <laughs> Walsh missed that chip shot field goal. Oh, man. And um, Not even close. I know. In Carolina, they obviously had a week off. 
they have uh, they've been steamrolling through everybody, and um, the Panthers actually beat the Seahawks uh, in October. Yes, so, in Seattle. In Seattle. Yes. You know, I'll tell you, man. Call me crazy. Oh boy. The gut. Here comes the gut. Here you go. I'm picking the Seahawks. Wow. I'm picking the Seahawks to upset wow. the Panthers. Yep. Let me tell you why. Big pick there. Let me tell you why. Seattle's got an amazing defense. Number one against the rush, this number two against the pass. Yeah. So they've already played the Panthers, so they kind of know them a little bit, which kind of helps. I think the way they lost that game leaves a bad taste in their mouth. Okay. And I think that the Seahawks, that little bit of redemption last week, that little bit of luck, that's almost, I wouldn't say it's a team of destiny, but it just seems like when you get a break like that, it, it kind of spurs things. I mean, remember the, the Steelers that year when they were going to lose to the Colts? Jerome Bettis fumbles the ball at the goal line, and, and the, the, the Colts defender's bringing it back, and Ben Roethlisberger sticks an arm out and trips him up, and, mm -hmm. you know, and the Steelers ended up going to the Super Bowl and won it. Yep. Well, I'm not saying Seattle's going to win the Super Bowl, but I just, I just call it my gut. It's my gut feeling. I think Seattle, they're, look, they're the two-time defending NFC champions. Right? Yes. And I think they've been kind of lost in the shuffle because they didn't dominate as they usually did. But, I mean, this is still a pretty darn good football team. Carolina, I mean, not a big playoff experienced football team. And I think that's going to play a role here, okay? So, like I said, this is going to be an interesting game, but I like, I like Seattle. It's going to be a close game. Call me crazy, but I'm going with the Seahawks. Oh, I'm calling you crazy. I'm taking the Panthers. Of course you are. I've been sold on this team all yes. year. I, I just love everything about them. You know, I think they're uh, uh, more of a complete team than people realize. I I, I don't think, uh, you know, I think the Cardinals are a better overall team. Yeah. But I think the, with the defense the Panthers have, you know, with Cam Newton at quarterback, I think they can make a deep run. Okay. So I'm taking them over the Seahawks. According to the Associated Press, which I'm reading this off and giving them credit, including playoffs, Seattle's won franchise record six straight road games. Wow. That's impressive. So I'm, I'm telling you, man, it's I'm, I'm going with... You're you're riding the wave. I'm riding the wave. My, my buddy from college, Vince Vincenzo, the Seahawks fan, I mean, he'll like this pick, that's for sure. So, All right, last game of the day, or Sunday, actually, Sunday afternoon, Pittsburgh at Denver. Pittsburgh and Cincinnati last week played a classic playoff game, although classic from the way it ended because of the, the two penalties against the Bengals, not good. Um, but Pittsburgh, I guess you could say they were kind of fortunate. <laughs> and Ben Roethlisberger's banged up. Um, the, uh, uh, Brown, their wide receiver, is obviously banged up too. Antonio Brown. Antonio yeah. Brown's going through the concussion protocol. Right. I think he's going to play. Uh, D'Angelo Williams not, may or may not be playing. The Broncos have rested. Uh, Peyton Manning is starting, mm -hmm. so I think he should be pretty well rested. And uh, the Steelers' defense is 30th against the pass. That's not good. Yeah. The Broncos' defense, overall, number one in the NFL. Yep. Number one against the pass, number three against the rush. So it's home at Denver, and uh, I'm, I'm just going with the Broncos. They're just, I mean, I think if Pittsburgh wasn't banged up, I'd give Pittsburgh a chance, but I'm definitely going with the Broncos. Yeah. The Broncos are the number one seed in the AFC, uh, and I think with that defense, they're tough to beat. You know, they obviously they need something from their quarterback, yeah. but you know, with the uh, the matchups that they have, you know, Pittsburgh, Big Ben banged up. Yeah. Um, you know that that's tough. I mean, the Steelers. If you looked back, you know, a few weeks ago, you'd say, you know, this is a tough team, but uh, with the injuries uh, coming so late, it's unlucky for them. But you know, I'm taking the Broncos at home. Peyton Manning. I mean, he he. I mean, he just. If he has to carry the Broncos' offense, then it's, it's, it, it could be interesting. Yeah. If they run the football and they don't need to rely on his arm, then I, I feel much better about Denver. But I'm, I'm sticking with that pick, obviously, so Denver. So, All right, folks. Anything else you want to add, Robert? I'm all set. All right, that's it. Enjoy. This is one of the best weekends of football anywhere. Enjoy the games, and we'll see you next week for the conference championship games.